<laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Air Productions video. Um, today I'm going to try reacting to something which I've never done before. Probably never will again. Now you guys probably don't recognize this room because I usually don't film here, but I'm actually filming from a top secret location. Here's the address. And I doubt this video is going to turn out good, so um, let's get it started. Now today I'm going to be reacting to How to Slam Dunk a Shiro. This is my roommate's dog, by the way, Shiro. I love how defeated. He always looks so defeated. Look at his face. Anyway, today I'm going to be reacting to- Okay, you want to get out? Anyway, today I'm going to be reacting to How to Slam Dunk a Basketball by e How. Wait, no, I mean uh, Howcast. <laughs> They're all the same. There's, so there's fucking wiki how e how how cast all this shit. It's all bullshit. But I love all of it, and I, today I'm gonna be reacting to how cast how cast and e how and all this shit have basically made a multi-million dollar business just off of giving you basic advice. Like their entire business plan, their entire model relies on their viewers being complete dumbasses. Which sounds like it'd be a bad business model, but they're actually successful. So. <laughs> Think about it. I have some old videos on uh, wiki how articles like how to make friends, how to. Uh, I forgot what the other ones were. I have how to make friends and how to make a viral video according to WikiHow. Uh, check those out, please, Arrow Production. I'll put the link in the description. Probably won't be in the description, but you know, just look it up. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Million dollar question, how can I slam dunk? Million dollar question, how do I make a slam dunk? Now the thing is, I would listen to these guys because they're on the Harlem Wizards, um, which... I think it's a street ball thing. Yeah, I'm gonna get so much shit for not knowing who the Harlem Wizards are. Is it like the Harlem Globetrotters? I don't understand what this is. Okay, so to be completely honest, I don't know what the Harlem Wizards are, but it's it's a big team. Uh, I know, I'm know i sure he's good. Uh, but the thing is, anybody who's on Howcast, they just paid them to give this bullshit advice that Howcast probably wrote. No, that Howcast did right. I guarantee you that these two guys in the video are not the guys who, are, who thought of the advice that they're gonna give in this video. I guarantee you it's 15 old white guys in a conference room and they have one black guy in there and they decide to make a basketball video and they look to the black guy for advice, but he's a 63 year old man who's never touched a basketball in his life. So Jamarcus, you got any ideas for this new uh, How to Slam Dunk a Basketball video we got going on here, here at Howcast? Uh, well, first of all, my name's Joe, um, not Jamarcus. I don't really, I've never really played basketball before. <laughs> That's a good one, you black son of a bitch, but listen, we don't have time for jokes here at Howcast. This is a serious business, alright? We are serious 15 old white men here, and we're here to capitalize on the idiot youth and elderly in this world, so we, we need your help. Dude, like, I've never played basketball before. I don't, uh, you can find someone else. I'm sure a lot of people here have probably played basketball before in their life. Well, Gene Willick or Jemima, if you're not gonna help us, then how are we gonna get this How to Slam Dunk a Basketball video up on Ecast? He, how, Howcast, my bad. And with no one in the entire company of Howcast having ever played basketball in their life, what video do they come up with? Let's watch. How can I slam dunk? Well, Mr. Five Four is gonna show you how to do that very, very quickly. Slam dunk is very simple. You wanna jump up over 10 feet and slam the ball down into the basket. 10 feet and slam the ball down into the basket. You wanna jump up over the 10 foot rim and slam the ball into the basket. All right, let's keep watching. You want to jump up over 10 feet and slam the ball down into the basket, huh? Do you want to take that on the Yeah, let's <laughs> <laughs> What just happened? Did they just adjust the camera? They're adjusting. Oh my god. They adjusted the camera, which is fine. They adjusted the camera. They told them to move up or, uh, you know, move around or whatever. But why do you keep it in your house? 6.1 million subscribers. You can't just cut that part out. I mean, this video was uploaded in 2012. It's pretty good. I mean, you have like fucking watermarks on the damn video. You couldn't cut the part out where they tell you to adjust the camera. Okay, let's keep going. Into the basket, huh? Yeah, let's take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Oh my God, that shit was so long. I mean, you guys at least rented out a court. You have your own jersey. You paid these two guys from the Harlem Wizards to come here and educate these people on how to slam dunk a basketball. You can't cut 10 seconds out of a video. All right, boys and girls, a million dollar question. How to slam dunk. Slam dunk. I swear to God, if he restarts the fucking video, that's what he said at the beginning. Million dollar question. Million dollar question. If he's gonna restart the entire thing, now and they put all that in the beginning of the video you could literally just cut it to this part all right number one thing we already know oh never mind he went to the steps all right let's keep going go right number one thing did you see that let me go back and show you go right number one thing they're filming with two cameras they're filming with two high quality cameras they rented out a court they got the ho fucking these two players on the harlem wizards to come here and teach these guys how to slam dunk a basketball and you can't cut 10 seconds out of a video where they're adjusting the camera 
Oh my God. All right, let's keep going. All right. Number one thing, we already know the goal is about 10 feet off the ground. So the number one thing you gotta do is you're gonna have to jump up there and get it, all right? So you jump up there. So you jump up there. Mr. 540, our expert on dunking, will now execute right now a one hand and a two hand slam dunk. Let's check them out. Now we talk. Let's check them out. Now we talk. You just cut the video. Look, I'll play it again. There was one scene and then it cut to another scene. You guys know how to cut video. What was the point of the camera adjustment? I'm focusing too much on this, but I don't know why it's just so dumb. It's just cut that part out. Mr. 5-4 is gonna show us. Now there's two ways that you can jump off the ground, all right? We got the running one. Holy shit, they have three cameras. One, two, three. There's fucking three cameras recording this amazing Howcast production, but they couldn't cut out 10 seconds of fucking adjusting the camera footage. All right, so this is what I was talking about before. They have made a multi-million dollar business of giving you guys the simplest fucking tips and just trying to they just assume people are dumbasses when they make these videos you jump up there you want to be above the rim and slam dunk it into the basket the tip is get over the rim and then dunk it that's the how to slam how to make a slam dunk that's i mean i guess that's how you do it you know i'm just trying to imagine who they're making this video for how to make a slam dunk like say i can jump up i get my entire arm over the rim i can easily you know get the basketball over the rim but i don't know how to make a slam dunk they're assuming in the video that you can already get the ball over the rim you just don't know how to slam it in like say here's the rim they could get their hand right here but they just don't know what to do after that it's so confusing they watch this video oh my god all i had to do was just get the ball up here and then put it inside the basket oh my god thank you so much how what would i do without you i'm just a dumbass youth who didn't understand that once you get the ball over the rim you have to put it into the basket. I thought you were supposed to tie your shoes in midair. I thought once I get over the rim, I'm supposed to get the basketball and then throw it out of bounds. Like, I don't understand these videos. Who are you actually trying to market this towards? Okay, let's just finish it off. Mr. 540 will demonstrate the one foot dunk. Closers, closers. This video is just this dude showing off. Now he will demonstrate the two foot power slam dunk. Ooh, now that is nice right there. I mean, that was a really nice dunk. Teach me how to do it. You didn't give me a single tip. You just had him demonstrate how to dunk. I wanna, I wanted to learn how to make a slam dunk when I clicked on this video. I mean, if the entire video was just demonstrating how to do a slam dunk, there's so many videos on, there's just highlights on highlights on highlights of fucking dunks online. I don't know, man. Like, I thought maybe it was obvious how dumb this video is, but I go down to like and dislike ratio, you'd expect like 90% dislikes or something. I go down, it's a good percent of likes. But then again, I just realized 343,000 views and only 1,600 likes. That's rough. You know what? This video has 1,615 likes with 340,000 views. This video probably get like 20,000 views or something. Let's get it to 1,616 likes. Please, I'm counting on you guys. That's right, folks. And that is how you slam dunk with the Harlem Wizards. And that is how you slam dunk with the Harlem Wizards. That is how you slam dunk. That is how you slam dunk for all you idiots out there who don't know how to dunk. For all you idiots out there who keep seeing me dunk and ask me how I do it, here you go. I've outlined the steps. First you get over the rim, next you dunk it. Now it can't be any easier than that. I've given you all the steps to do it. I have outlined every single step to be able to dunk and if you can't do it, frankly, that's your fault and you might be mentally challenged. You are a disgrace to yourself, your family, the, the human race, and if you don't want to be a disgrace anymore, then you need to read this new Howcast article we just put up. Two steps on how to not be a disgrace. Number one, don't be a disgrace. Number two, read this next eHow article. Howcast. It's all the same shit. So I filmed all that stuff uh, a couple days ago and I just finished editing the video and then I realized I didn't film an outro, so now I gotta record this outro. I fucking got sick the day after I recorded the video. Thank God I recorded that day because my throat is fucked up today. Anyway, like I said, I've never done a video like this before. This is a lot longer compared to my other videos, um, but it was a lot of fun to make. If you guys like these videos, um, leave a comment telling me that you like it. Leave a like so I know that you guys like these videos. Leave a comment telling me what, what else you want me to react to. I just want to try something different because my channel's dying. So I thought maybe this would help switch it up. I, I think this video's going to be 10 minutes too. So um, it'll help me go up higher in the algorithm for YouTube. Also, the foul apparel is still available. If you buy a foul hoodie, a shirt, a long sleeve, anything, and you send me a picture of yourself wearing it, uh, I'll put your picture at the end of the video along with your YouTube or Instagram or any social media you want me to shout out to. So it's a great deal right there. And if you guys don't buy the merch but you still want to support this channel, please, please, whitelist this channel on adblocker i'm gonna put up a video right here of how to do it and basically that means whenever you watch a video on this channel uh it will show ads and that means that i get paid so it's such an easy thing to do it's just you just watch a 50 second ad and then i actually get money and it helps me support the channel so please i'm begging you anyway that's the video 
and I'll see you in hell. I'm just looking for the time back. I'm just for the time. I lose almost every day. I lose almost every day. I can't blink a single time right now without seeing your face. Seeing your face. You have a smile.